Hello, my name is Judith Witter, and today I'll be walking you through the steps of opening the polls on election day. First, I will show you the ballot box, open and empty. Next, I will affix the slot retaining seal. I will secure the padlock. And the poll clerk at this time will record the numbers of the metal seal and the official seal. This will now be affixed. And snapped securely. I will now invite observers to come and affix their signature to the seal. The box is now secured and ready for polling. The polls are now open. General mode of taking ballots. Each elector who applies, therefore, shall receive from the presiding officer a ballot paper, and immediately before delivery, A, the ballot paper shall be stamped with an official mark, either embossed or perforated. B, the number, name, and description of the elector, as stated in the copy of the Register of Electors, shall be called out. C. The counterfoil of the ballot paper shall be marked with a number corresponding to the consecutive number on the official list of electors and entered in the poll book. D. A mark shall be placed on the Register of Electors against the number of the elector to denote that a ballot paper has been received, but without showing the particular ballot paper which has been received, and E. The presiding officer shall place his initials as indicated in Form 26. The presiding officer shall instruct the elector how to make his mark, and shall properly fold the elector's ballot paper directing him to return it when marked, folded as shown, but without inquiring or seeing for whom the elector intends to vote, except when the elector is unable from physical or other disability from voting without assistance to vote in the manner prescribed by this law. Good morning. Please state your full name, occupation, and address. Mary Jean Bodden, 194 Creek Road, retired. Mary Jean Bodden, 194 Creek Road, retired. CBE 0032. Good morning. Please state your full name, address, and occupation. 
Delina Sabrina Tatum, 23 Bite Road, Business Woman. Delina Sabrina Tatum, 23 Bite Road, Business Woman. CBE is 0172. Please place an X to the right hand side of the candidate that you wish to vote for in the box. Please place an X. Fold it and return it to me like this. An elector who has inadvertently so dealt with the ballot paper delivered to him that it cannot conveniently be used shall restore it to the presiding officer who shall cancel it by writing the word spoiled across the face of the same. The presiding officer shall then deliver another ballot paper to the elector and shall offer assistance to an elector who has spoiled three ballot papers. Good morning. Good morning. Please state your name, address, and occupation. Amanda Brown, 53 Dixons Road, unemployed. Amanda Brown, 53 Dixon Road, unemployed. CBE is 0036. Good morning. Please place an X to the right hand side of the candidate that you choose. Okay. When you're finished with marking, return it to me folded like this. You can use one of the boots right there. Mistake on this. Okay. Can I get another one? You can. Spot. Okay, I'll issue another product. The CB number again, please. Zero, zero, Alright, the instructions remain the same. Please place an X to the right hand side of the candidate of your choosing. Okay. When you're finished, return it to me folded like this. Thank you. Please drop it in the slot. Thank you. Voted. The mode of taking ballot in special cases. Subject to this law, as to proof of qualifications as an elector, and as to the administration of oaths, if a person representing himself to be a particular elector applies for a ballot paper after another person has voted as such person, he shall be entitled to receive a ballot paper and to vote after taking the oath of identity in Form 27 and otherwise establishing his identity to the satisfaction of the presiding officer. 2. In such case, the presiding officer shall put on the ballot paper his initials together with a number corresponding to the number allotted to the elector 
on the official list of electors and entered in the poll book opposite the name of such elector and the poll clerk shall enter in the poll book the following a the name of such elector b a note of his having voted on a second ballot paper issued under the same name and c any objections made on behalf of any and of which of the candidates Morning. Good morning, sir. Please state your full name, address, and occupation. Samuel Fish, 47 Northeast Road, Time Equipment Operator. Sir, I have you that you already came to the poll this morning. I have you stretched off. Can I see an ID, please? Just give me a second. Let me speak to the presiding officer to come from. Yes, ma'am, it wasn't it wasn't me. Told my dad. Just confirmed that you did not vote already this morning. Mm -hmm. Anyone else in your household the same? Yes, my dad. My father. Mine is a family business, family operated business. Oh the so same? Yes, we have the same. Yes, okay. okay. Well in that case, since we already have you as voted, you have to take an oath. Or swear. Which one do you prefer? The I mean, sorry, yes. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, um, Madam Presiding Officer. Uh, we couldn't hear over here. What reason did he give for the double coming to vote again when we've already struck that name off, Mr. Fish, off as having voted earlier today? His father also has the same name and the same occupation. Permission to speak. Um, his, that was his father came in earlier, and this is his son now. Okay. Thank you very much, Mom. All right. We'll continue with the affirmation. You do solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm that you are Samuel Fish of 47 Northeast Road whose name is entered on the official list of electors now showing you? This one. This one. This one. This one. side of the candidate to which you want to vote for. When you finish, in the box. In the box. When you finish, return it to me folded like this. You can use one of the boots. It's just that. Yes. <laughs> Three, the presiding officer on the application of any elector who is incapacitated from physical or other disability from voting without assistance in the manner prescribed by this law shall require the elector making such application to make oath in Form 28 of his incapacity to vote without assistance and shall thereafter deal with such votes in the manner specified in subsection 4. 4. If any such elector, as is referred to in subsection 3, requests the assistance of the presiding officer in marking his ballot, the presiding officer shall thereafter assist such elector by marking his ballot paper in the manner directed by such elector in the presence of the poor clerk, and if so requested by the elector, the presence of a friend. Note, candidates and agents at the polling station cannot observe how the presiding officer marks the ballot paper if he is requested to do so by an elector who suffers from a physical or other disability. Subsection 5. 
where an elector requires the presence of a friend in accordance with subsection 4, that person shall not be allowed to be present unless he first takes the oath in Form 29. 5a. A person who assists an elector as a friend in accordance with subsection 4 shall not assist another elector as a friend. 5b. A person who contravenes subsection 5a commits an offense and is liable on summary conviction to a fine of $1,000 or to imprisonment for six months or to both. Note, the friend shall not mark the ballot paper. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. I'm here to vote today and I had to bring my friend because darling, these things on my eyes growing too fast and I can't see so good anymore. Please state your full name, address, and occupation. My name is Monica Susabel Ryan and I live at 16 Mitchell Road. And your occupation? I'm retired, darling. CBE is 0313 Monica Susabel Ryan, 16 Mitchell Road, occupation retired. Road, do solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm that you are incapable of voting without assistance by reason of a physical or other disability. Yes, ma'am. And you as the friend that will assist, you need to also do an oath. You want to swear or to affirm? Affirm. Okay. You do solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm that you will keep secret from whom Monica Susabel Ryan voted. I know. Okay. Step up along the side, please. Okay, I will read the names for you. I just indicate which one that you want to. Proceedings at the close of the poll. Number 57. Forthwith, upon the close of the poll, the presiding officer shall, in the following order, A. Seal the ballot boxes. B. Count the number of electors whose names appear in the poll book as having voted and make an entry thereof on the line immediately below the name of the elector who voted last. Thus, quote, the number of electors who voted in this election in this polling station is, state the number, and sign his name thereto. C. Count the spoiled ballot papers, if any. Place them in the special envelope supplied for that purpose and indicate thereon the number of such spoiled ballot papers and seal it up. D. Count the counterfoils of all used ballot papers and place them in the special envelope supplied for that purpose and indicate thereon the number of counterfoils 
and seal it up. E. Count the unused ballot papers. Place them with all the stubs of all used ballot papers in the special envelope supplied for that purpose and indicate thereon the number of such unused ballot papers and seal the special envelope. And F. Check the number of ballot papers supplied by the returning officer against the number of spoiled ballot papers, if any. Check the number of electors whose names appear in the poll book as having voted, and the number of unused ballot papers, if any, in order to ascertain that all ballot papers are accounted for. It's now 6 p.m. There are no additional electors in line. The polls are now closed. I now invite agents to come and affix their signature to the seal.